I don't think any of that got down to her. No. Okay. <laughs> I, I believe it hit hard on my parents, on my dad's side. Yeah, yeah I believe that. Yeah, I believe that. Okay. <laughs> or at least Robotti. Yeah, I believe that too. Yeah. Okay, so Fody's in. Okay, he's like he's here. He's in the vocal thing. He's just not in the game yet. Gotcha. Cool. So uh, he should be here soon. We'll, we'll send it to you. We, yesterday, we started work on the short story of how Silvox's Moonblade got to rebirth. Yeah, that's going to be weird, because it's just in a tree randomly. But that, through so we're going to explain that. Yeah. The the story, this was Sarah's idea. It's really cool. It's from the sword's perspective. Yep. And you, you told me. Yeah. Okay. Where did you get this background image from? Is this from Forbidden Realms? No, just type in Shirima and you'll find it. Okay, it just looks really cool. Yeah. Thank League you. of Legends. Thank That's you. Where. Okay. Oh, I see. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. That, and Bodie, thanks for putting up with my minor panic attack. It's all right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Also, apparently, we're going to be running this game for four weeks in a row. You don't have to run it for four weeks in a row. No, I'm just, no, I'm telling Fody. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just saying you don't have to do that. But I have plenty of content. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm all like, you don't want to just take a few Sundays off. Yeah. Well, I get every other Sunday off. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Anyways, when we last left off in Baharet, there was a bit of a few introductions made with Rosal or Siri, I don't care which name you use, introducing you to his brothers and sisters. Minus one, he, saw, he introduced you to Zindi, his little sister, and Shara, his older little sister. Like almost twins, they were born the same year. Ivan got ticked off and decided to shoot someone's foot off. And Ivan is currently in jail, which is two doors down from Queen's Respite, the place where Shara runs. The only thing between you guys is a tax office. So right now, it's uh, Rouge, Calden, and Argentum, along with Osiri and Shara. Zindi's off outside right now. Standing in Queen's Respite, just kind of wondering what to do. Last time you got mentions of a apparent dragon called that named itself Ash Ruler might be living out in the desert. All right. So that's where we left off with you guys knowing Ivan's in jail, and Actually, Rouge doesn't know Rouge but, just got back. Yeah, Rouge. Yeah. Uh, you Rouge, Rouge met up with Rouge basically. Rouge has been like party surfing. Yep. Woo! So you all just <laughs> met up at. Queen's rest in the middle. Shara is just smoking her hookah. Uh, Os- Rosal has his arms crossed. Right. What's up, guys? How was your journey here? It was all right. Uh, I'm in the jail. Huh? How was yours? It was fun. I got to, y- y'all saw me fly. Yeah, no, that, that looks fun. And I took a nap here, and then a party started. Cool. I. You always get good luck on that, don't you? It's because I'm tiny and I'm portable. <laughs> you, you are kind of a portable party pack. I kind of pick you up for emphasis. Yep. How many people? Why do you think I was bringing on my shoulder? I bring the fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, huh. We should probably go look into getting Ivan out of jail. It's well, like his bail. Uh, wasn't like 50 gold or something. It, it was 50 gold. Well, let me check I got, that eye and look at my pockets. I got 19 gold. I'm broke. Uh, <laughs> you broke ass bitch. Uh, hmm. I actually had enough money to get myself out, but apparently they stole my money. Racism. Just before they put me into... Yep. Uh, I had enough money to take five of us out of jail. You did. <laughs> Try to math first. He did agree, God. <laughs> I have 19 minus 50 is... 31. 30, 30, 31, 31 pieces of gold. How much does Argentum have on him? Uh, I'm assuming he's here, right? Yeah, he's here. He's just like ruffling his pockets. Let me check. Does he just have imaginary like toy money? No, he, had, he made money. He made money when he was cooking, remember? I know, I just like making the joke. Yeah. He has 15 gold on him. Wait, when was he cooking? When we downtime on the ship. When we did downtime on the ship. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just like picturing her gentum dressed in a crusty the crab uniform. <laughs> yeah. Like it's a fry cook. Yep. Like uh, with his spatula. Yep. We're just currently debating whether she should go pickpocket. <laughs> Look at her. What are you thinking? Are you, you thinking are a rogue. debauchery or th thievery? Uh, thievery, but I'm just like, I don't want to do it here because I don't want to piss off Rosal's relatives. It's they like, look like the we shouldn't piss off. Yeah. Are you whispering this? Because Shara is right there. Yeah, we're whispering this. Okay. <laughs> no, <she's> not. <laughs> it's like... We need like a portable pocket dimension <laughs> where we can have these conversations. Jerry's mansion. Oh, Kona's silence. Yeah, Jerry's mansion. But Jerry's mansion's not here. <laughs> oh, you didn't bring uh, him along. Well, we set to, but then he didn't come with us. I that was a fault of mine. He's just been in the caravan. That was my fault of the DM. Yeah, so you're fine. fine. Also, uh, Retcon rec last year, I relooked. Efridi are not devils; they are elementals. They're just still lawful evil, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They just technically don't reside in hell. Yeah. So Rouge is just gonna go ahead and walk out of the building and be her sneaky self and stealth check. Yep. Oh, no, hang on, you can find Ifridi in the city of Brass, can't you? Yes. That's not in hell. She's in hell. No, it? that's in the fire plane. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, oh. Rouge, you just go out. You just like. Pull on your gloves, so and yeah. you just like manage to just hide behind a ton of camel legs all the time, mm -hmm. and you're fine. Uh, you s go around and you see a few different people. You see some richer looking FRD who are big pockets. You see a decent amount of humans just round. None of them look terribly wealthy, but they could have some cash on them. You see a few merchants, but they look like they have guards. Gotcha. So, and there are big snake people watching you. There's rooftops covered in them, uh, but and you see like people with pockets all like some merchants that have like giant coats that are just filled with pockets of different things. Mm -hmm. So who do you want to steal from? The the Fiddy. Hmm. The Fiddy. 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 Yeah. Okay. The TD. Roll a sleight of hand check. Okay, let's see, what do Afridi have on them? I'm loving your god rolls with these. <laughs> okay, let me just check what Afridi have on them. They have some gold bands, so... They gold bands, some minor uh, the jewelry. The one T just races to all short people and just dwarfs. All Rouge short people. Hotling. All short people. She rolled a stealth check, that's why no one's noticing her. That's a high-ass stealth check. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> got, with Night Slide a hand check... Does let me see if it notices. Uh, it does not notice your presence. So you may just get up there and like take some rings off. You may just pluck its earrings out. I'm gonna say you got about thirty gold worth of jewelry off it. Wait, I just need one more piece of gold bag. We can get that from Argento. It's like All right. okay. I, I go back to the building. I like to mention I was spoils. We didn't move. Yeah, we, we just wait. <laughs> I was just so I was so stealthy. Okay. Uh, <gasps> it's yep. like and it's just like you see Shara and uh, Rosal just chatting about the plans. They don't even seem to notice you. It's like they didn't actually notice you leave because that stealth tech was so high. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like, like oh, bitches. Rouge, it's like back. Can anybody loan me for a piece of gold? It's like. Argento. Yeah, oh, yeah, I got, I got, I got a piece of gold. All Dude, right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we can get the dwarf friend out of jail. Yep. Yeah. Let's go do that. Uh, where do we do that, Razzle? Just at the jail. Yes, it still runs down. Okay. Let's right. head on down. I will come with you. And but first, he like waves his hand in front of his face and disguises himself. It's like still a wanted man. So he just looks like this generic elf man. I like generic elf man. Okay. Okay. Is it generic elf man one or two? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ivan, you are actually in this kind of dilapidated jail cell, and there's just these two, like, minor Yanti, like, they're not as big as the guy behind the desk, just with the big snake legs just guarding the door, because the door looks like it was busted open during whatever siege happened that let the Yanti take power in Bafaret. Okay. So they're just kind of guarding the door, because there is no door to the cell right now. 
Right. When you see all your friends bust in, or associates. I don't know. How friendly are you? Uh, do I actually see them come in? Yes, you see them come in. It, there's no, there's no actual. They take me after them. No, there's actually no actual wall. They have to go. You guys all just bust in. You see Ivan behind bars. Hey, look, buddy. Hello. <laughs> so uh, we scrunched together your bail money. Okay, that's good. Get, and you see, like, could you uh, maybe hackle for my things? As well. I don't think that's gonna be a possibility here. I'm not leaving without my toy. Well, I guess you're not. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you fucked. <laughs> Trust me, with the potential this these things have, you don't want these people with. It's like. And when you come in, you guys keep talking, and this big guy in the front desk, like, giant, 15 feet tall, so he says, Do you have business here? Uh, yes, we're, we're here to bail out that one. On that I completely forgot about the whispering giant. <laughs> yeah. It's like, 50 gold. Okay, uh, Roosh. Alright, Roosh hands over the gold. Okay, you hand over the gold. It's like, look. he just takes one of those giant snake fingers and just, like, grabs it. Yeah, Ugh. like giant snake hands, and like the other two of these, uh, Bionti kind of just escort Ivan out, just right around here, so he's like always flanked. Okay. How many people are in this room right now? Uh, twenty, not not including us. There are the three. This is a very small, like this is a jail, not a prison. This is just like a public service jail. Like this is the cop precinct with the jail. The county jail. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's a small room. Mm-hmm. Basically, that's why everyone's double size right now. Basically, everything, if you're using yeah. measurements, that's why. It's not actually a full size map. Is this the table where the things are on? Yes, they are. But currently, there's this guy watching it. This guy uh, is like right there. So, that all happens. Yep. Do I see my pistol? You see a locked, like a little locked desk drawer. That you can probably guess are in, the parts are in there because it, you saw get, like jostled in there on your way getting taken in. Okay. Um. Shit. Uh, I can't find the the sheet for the thieves cant, so I'm just gonna say that I use thieves cant. In thieves cant, I will tell Rouge, distract them. <laughs> Rouge rolls her eyes, and she's gonna go up to the table. <laughs> okay. Up the table! That's where Honey, I, I love the, the idea of Rouge stepping on tiptoes just to, like, put her chin... And just be all like, hey, big boys, how big <laughs> are you? I can, I can <laughs> hardly see you behind this table. Can I get a good look at you? Roll a persuasion check with disadvantage because they're snake people. Yeah. <laughs> and you're a small... Okay. That's still pretty decent. Okay, so this one, like, looks oh, over the desk, just, like, goes around the desk, and, like, what in the hell are you talking about? You smart. I just wanted to get a good look at you, sugar. It's like... Can I sneak over to the drawer while that's happening? Roll a stealth check. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I, they roll... Let me see this. I'm looking at this one rolls a perception check, because the other two have disadvantage. Okay, where are you? Okay. Perception, perception. Let's see. I love my wife. Okay. Perception. <laughs> nope. Another perception. Nope. Uh, let's see if this one. Let's see if the other one sees you. Okay. This one has a plus. Ooh. Okay. But this one has disadvantage. So okay. And Ivan, you're yeah. clear. You're clear. They're all distracted right. by the small, strange halfling. That's I. Right, I make it over to the drawer. Uh, I'll use my thieves' tools. You don't to have them. And they took their thieves' tools. 
They know what those are. They didn't take your gun because they didn't know what it was, and you disassembled it in your beard. Do I see them on the desk anywhere, or would I? Would they be in the drawer? They would be in the drawer. You do see a key on this guy. <sighs> you just gotta make my life hard, don't you? <laughs> you shot someone in the foot in a public area. Yes. <laughs> I, I shot someone being right incredibly there. racist. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Would I have to make another stealth check to go up to No, him? just a sleight of hand check. Your stealth check's maintaining. Alright. Um. Go there. Sleight of hand. Where is it? Okay, but he gets to make another uh, stealth check. Uh, another perception check. Yep. Okay. You lucky yes. fuck. Okay, so Ivan just made it to dwarf sneaking. Just made it to like lift the keys off one of the two snake tails this guy has, and like just gets the key, pockets it. You now have key to Bafferet Jail. Yes. Run back to the drawer. You see Razzle in the background, who's watching all of this, just containing laughter. And you get your thieves tools. You get your you get your gu gun parts back, and you get um. A hundred of your gold back. They already spent thirty of it on, boot, on like snake booze. Bruce is just going on about like how strong their tails must be. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear lord! <laughs> Glad I'm not making a comic out of this one. <laughs> Alrighty. It's like, and like, so eventually after the flurry, after the flirting keeps happening, he goes up to you, called, and it's like, is this one yours? Yes. Please take her away. Sit her on my shoulder. <laughs> Is this one yours? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fistful. Yeah. Yes. We, yeah, we 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 discreetly fistful. Yes. D don't say discreetly. I'm gonna make you roll a check for it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, we we out of character. <laughs> we walk away. Yeah. End okay. of story. You just walk, <laughs> we walk away. away end of story. It's like, it's like, but it whispers. Uh, actually, Rouge, your perception's super high now. Yep. Okay, so you actually hear a whisper from the large one say, "Keep an eye on them." All right, Rouge is just gonna like, kind of elbow called it, and just like nod her head like. Like, oh, at them? Well, no, at you, and just be all like, kind of like, be alert. Yeah. Okay, I know that. Yeah. yeah. I have 16 passive perception. Did I hear that as well? No, Rouge has 18, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So, you guys go outside, and Razzle, like, looks at you all and kind of just keeps struggling himself. Well, that's certainly more peaceful than I, I expected out of you. Oh, don't get me started with these fuckers. Well, we'll have to go to the desert anyway soon. Do you want to go out, get out of town? Are these fuckers were referring to us or the snake people? The snake people. At least you're not a racist like they are. True. Mm. I pride myself on that low bar. <sighs> so, anyway. Okay. Uh, Anyhow, that's like trying to direct the conversation back. I believe we have a, another task and we're going to the desert. Should we, uh, do you think we should try to get the cellar to come along? Or do you have a friend you want to bring? Do you want to bring Jerry? To the desert? Mm. We'll use a healer. We could. Yeah, let's bring Jerry. And there might be like some skeletons in the, the sand somewhere he could probably... That's right. You, you know, I could use some. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, how many people are we gonna have with us? I would recommend We're gonna have us three, four, five, six total. Oh, seven okay. maybe, but it's like I would recommend if you want healing, we should ask Shara. Oh yeah. Oh, Shara would probably would know the area better anyhow. Yep. Oh, indeed. <laughs> She's a storyteller. Help pass the time. Excellent. Not that kind of storyteller. Okay, but you guys go back to Queen's Respite, <laughs> and Shara is actually like getting th things ready and packing stuff up, but it's like. You realize 
like Osiri slash Rogel already asked, and he just like was trying to make it seem like he was letting you have a choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, are we getting ready to? Are we getting ready to go? And she is going to actually join you guys. Okay. And then there's. Oh no. Let's see. What else should we have? Yeah, well, we'll figure out something. But for now, we have to get to the city streets and find a quick. You have it. You probably came in. We came in. On, you came in on a caravan, correct? Correct. Yes. Let's go find one of those and take one. Okay. Uh, we came in a ship. You came in a ship. Not a caravan. You came in a ship. Then you got off and came in a caravan to come down through the the reports. There's a lot of caravans that come through here, aren't there? Yes, yes. it's a trading post. Did you not see the giant river? I did. I'm not from around here. I just wanted to clarify. Uh, understand how business works. Uh, and I'm new to town. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Start me <laughs> so you guys go back in the streets. You head around. It takes a couple. Uh, uh, before we do that. Oh. Can I take like 15 minutes to reassemble both my pistols? I mean, you can just roll it. Like, to reassemble it, you don't need to check for it. Because you know exactly how it works. Assemble- Tinkering's for if you're doing yeah, something. Yeah, but modify. I assume I need like at least a minute or two to do it. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Just. I mean, yeah, I we, you could take a minute or so, but I wouldn't do it in the broad view of everybody. I'd do it in, sh- in Queen's Restaurant while you're there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> yeah. Then you guys all get out, going through the streets. There's hawkers in the market, there's more people. Again, there's a lot of people trying to, uh, b- like, uh, going around Ivan and R- Rouge and asking to buy them from Calden and Argentum. I like to imagine that hawkers are just hawk people. Yes. They actually don't live in this part of the world that much. They're pretty rare. <laughs> There's some here, but mostly, like, big merchants that use them as bodyguards. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> And you guys are walking through, and it's just, it is one of those big cities where people are always happening. And there's always that constant, over-present uh, feeling of that giant snake that's atop the big the tower. Even though it's not ever looking directly at you, you can't help but feel its eyes following you throughout the city streets. You go into alleyways, and under tents, and markets, and up past stairs. But eventually, you find your way back to the care of it. Your caravan, Cher is there, and <laughs> sitting at the caravan, sitting around the caravan are uh, Quincy, uh, Jerry, and Recky. And they're just kind of like, po- like kind of like setting up a small tent area. They're so, doing a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell are they talking about? Recky and Jerry screaming at each other. <laughs> I mean, they would just have the angry sword do all the talk. They actually aren't talking to each other, and yeah. you could tell like it's really awkward for Quince, Quincy because he has no clue how to act to this conversation. So he just keeps going back and forth between the two of them talking. No, no, the ones who have a podcast are Quincy and Artorius. They just switch back and forth. <laughs> yep. But that's happening. Me and my doppelganger. And it's kind of weird. You do notice that when. Arazel turned into a generic elf man. He did end up looking kind of like kind of like Artorius. So generic elf yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. Elf man. Not that. Yeah, yeah it's kind of generic, just blonde and everything. Uh. <laughs> so you get around there, and you see Jerry just like looking up books and trying to figure out what's going, like just getting ready to pack up and go somewhere. Mm-hmm. And you see like uh, Quincy and. Recky are just waiting around. Like, Recky's just enjoying the sun. She doesn't get. She hasn't get on the beach. She hasn't been on the uh, sand in a while. Like on solid land. Because mm. she's been living on those stockhead for a couple months. And Quincy just like gives up, switches to Artorias, and starts reading a book. But, do, you, do you guys want to do anything here? All right, Rush is gonna walk up to Recky and ask her if she's enjoying the sun bathing. Oh yes, I am. And like, on. yeah, and like, yeah, as soon as, and right, before, like, right when you asked her, she was taking off her like leather overcoat jacket, so it's just, she just has like muscle shirt on, 
and she's just like letting her arms out and just like laying on top of one of the caravan like padded things. You didn't have those muscles last time. <laughs> Sun's out, guns out. Hell yeah. Yeah. Ah. Mm. And our Tori's asked, so did you find what you needed? Yes. Interesting. Ah, so. Got, got people. <laughs> yep. Ah, so this is who exactly? Any points to Shara? Uh, this is Rosal's sister. Oh, there's more than one of them? There's quite a few, apparently. Yes. <laughs> you see his eyes fill with the fear of gods. <laughs> yeah. uh, I could gods. hear the morbidity in his voice. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a delightful trip. Either it way, is. Either way. And he closes the book he was looking at. I would like to observe as well. I kind of want to see what Bafaret has to offer once I event we eventually get my kingdom back. That's a good idea. Yeah. True. Okay, so... And Dragon Quest music plays and Artorias joins the party. Yay! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and... Oh, Siri actually brings out... Uh, yeah, Razzle, sorry. Razzle. I was like, good, good news, I have a map for once. Hooray! Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yay, direction. Where's the Cave of Wonders? Nowhere? <laughs> right there. You're not a diamond in the rough. I'm... You are a red shine, baby. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but Bafaret's like massive. It takes up both parts of the river right here. Hence why it's such a stranglehold, because it controls like literally all trade that goes through this side. Gotcha. Granted, the flate is what goes to the Dauntless Peaks to help fuel the dwarves and gnomes in there. Uh, and there's less talk in the distance. Gotcha. Yeah. So, uh, and like, so, uh, what I'm getting at is, I believe there's this old ruins around here, near the Sand Oasis. Mm. It's like, direct cutting across will get us there quickly, but it'll take, it'll be a three-day travel. We could go around and say safe to the water, but it will be a full week travel. What do you think, Ruth? Let's do, let's just gather some water and do the three-day trick. Uh, okay. Right. okay. Anyone else, anyone else got a penny? I any don't... takers? I don't... Any? <laughs> Angry you cut out. I didn't hear what you said. How much We're debating do... whether to take the short trip through the desert. We or could take the... three days. Or we could take the long trek that's a little bit safer and it's on the river path. But that'll take about a week. Rouge is suggesting hmm. that we take a three-day hike. It's called the Nagroots. Yeah. Okay. I would too. Alright, three days it is. We'll keep as much water as we can. It's like, uh, it's like, and Raul, it's like, don't mind if I make an appointment decision while we're away. It's like, and Jerry and uh, Reki both look at him like, what? It's like, I need one of you to be in charge. It's like, but I don't know either of you that well, so Rouge, present your case. Oh, God. <laughs> They have to be in charge of what? The caravan? The or... caravan, keeping us secret, keeping us safe. I can make this decision. Matt, well, Rouge was asked to do so. <laughs> like, Rouge, well, I... Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're going to need a strong leader, so... I'll go with somebody who has more leading experience. So it's I like, say, it's like at that moment, both Credence and Steve pop up, along with Larry Moe and Curly. Uh, <laughs> you suck. And <laughs> you suck. Both of these, both of these individuals, both have a lot of leadership experience. 
but I feel like since Jerry can have more eyes looking out for us, we should probably have Jerry lead. It's like Reggie, it's like Razo says, okay. So it's like, I believe that is a good course of action. Reki, Zeremiah, please don't kill each other while we're gone. It's like, and Jerry just looks confused, but Reki's like, all right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna book Now, off to grand adventures and possible death. Indeed. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So you guys slowly start a very long trek. Like you all get on animals, like, and actually they managed to. Thankfully, Rosal's been here before, and so has Ivan. So they both know enough to throw extra cloth over Argentum and Colin, so they don't boil alive in their armor. So you have like these long, extra quick robes over just to cool you down. Aww. He's a beagle, Russian. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Where is this music from? Near. I thought so. Okay. But you guys are slowly going through the desert, like going over these great sand dunes. And this place, like Sharon gave you a story about it being called the Great Sand Sea. And you see why I got that title. This You can't see the end of it at all. Even, even the distance, the horizon, there doesn't seem to be an end. You cut directly through, so you're going right along. The only light that ever guides you is starlight when you get near nighttime. And I want you all to make a constitution saving throw because the heat's beating down on you. All right. All right. Here's Rouge's. Rouge is getting good rolls <laughs> today. Yep. <coughs> mm. Okay. And that was Calden's. Okay, now just for our gentums. He should be fine, I hope. Oh yeah, you're all fine. Like, you just push through the heat, and eventually it gets to nighttime, and you find, like, this great sand dune that Shara kind of just, like, blows on her hookah, and the smoke kind of, like, carves out sand to make a nice, like, empty spot for you, with sand kind of covering you on one side to, like, block anyone's entrance. At the wind, and you guys all, like, settle down. Rosal just, like, flicks his fingers to make some fire, and you get some wood out of the caravans. And you all start sitting around calmly as the night sky starts overtaking. It starts getting black, and while the desert is beating, beating, blazing heat in the daytime, at night it's almost just cold as the Arctic. So you guys are just all hanging around this quick fire. And you hear, like, Rosal and Cher exchanging stories of when they were kids in the palace and, like, almost, how they almost kept falling off when they went to the higher towers, or stupid bets they made. And would you guys like to say anything around the fire? What kind of stupid bets did you make? Oh, one time I bet I could drink the Valorux. Could you tell me what that is? The Did you not see the map? Oh, Over oh, there. yes. Yeah. Yes. It's like, he tried, too. It's like, he tried, too. He uh, managed to... Get? Seven gallons. Ah. Did you wet yourself? No, no, no. Did you puke? No, no. After seven gallons, Sarah figured out I was cheating by transferring the water to a different place. <laughs> it wouldn't happen to be you poured it back into the river, was it? <laughs> well, we need the river for sustainability. <laughs> <sighs> you have any good... It's like, and Rather looks out in the distance, like, Oh, Lord! I, it's like, I think I can actually see them. It's like, and he points, and it points way in the distance, and you see like these vague purplish shadows in the night sky that seem to block at the stars. And it's like, it's the Dauntless Peaks. And he looks back at uh, you guys, and he looks at Ivan in particular. I, that's my home. Hmm. Thought you lived in Bafarit. No. Too many tall people. Too many stupid. Hmm. Fair, fair. 
like, Sarah, are we almost to the oasis? It's like, we'll be that. We'll be there tomorrow. By the end of midday. Alright. Everyone, we should probably try to get any semblance of sleep you can. It's going to be. It's going to be cold, so. I recommend staying by the fire. Well, all right, then. Alright, Bruce is gonna snuggle up in between Calden and Jerry. Yes. <laughs> Jerry's not here, you left him in charge. Oh, yeah. The I'll next to Calden. Okay, okay, the next to Calden. Yeah. Okay, so the like, halfling is just sandwiched between two dragonborns. Yep. Okay. Ivan, you're probably just on the sand dune. You're, you're stocky, you've dealt with this desert. You're probably fine. It's like... <sighs> But, it's like, you guys all finally fall to sleep. And let's see, do, what, do, I need my notes for today. Okay. Do we need to keep watch? Do you want, oh, yes, that's, thank you for reminding me. Okay, so who's keeping watch? First watch. Because it is a desert. And it's dangerous. Uh, I can do first. Okay, Ivan, roll me a perception check. Perception. Persuasion. <laughs> there is certainly sand in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, like, you feel like an inch of grains of it. You see, like, you don't see anything but sand and some sky. It looks peaceful. Very peaceful. Who's taking second watch? I will. Okay. Rouge, roll perception check. Mm. Look at this. Person. Oh damn! You see even better sand. Nice. <laughs> like you just like you start like you get distracted and start making a sand blanket. I just like bury <laughs> my legs in the sand. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm and, next. Uh, no, there's only two watches. Eight hours. Oh, there's only two watches. Four hour watches. Eight hour things. Okay. We're we still alive after that. Uh, well, you wake up and Russell says, "What the hell?" And you notice, like, new footprints around the camps. Well, sorry, you don't wake up yet. Try. Wreck on that. Because, Calden. It's like, you have a strange dream, but not like ones you've had before. It said you wake up like you would normally would, but you're not waking up on... You didn't wake up in any of those weird realms. Instead, you woke up uh, I need to move this up here. Ah, uh, back there. You woke up way back on a very familiar smelling, sh smelling and sounding ship atmosphere. And you get up and you look down, and you step out of like this cot, and then you look down and you realize you're in. You have boots on, like full-on humanoid boots. Then you look at your hands and you realize they're not your dragonborn claws. You have five fingers and a thumb. You're still very like you're still very muscly and large, but you're wearing like very lighter clothing, like a simple red band tied around. It's like and so you get up and you get are in this area where there's like this very bare bones area, and you go out the door and find this like lab of skulls and stuff. And okay. you see a very and you see a man that the last time you saw it was torturing Rouge, but it's back in his blonde hair. And he also says, oh, hello, hello there, boss. How you doing? It's then you wake back, and then the dream ends, and you guys wake up. Okay. Uh-huh. Good to know. Yep. <laughs> okay, so, but when you wake up, Razo goes, what the hell happened? And you guys see, like, extra footprints all around the campsite. And uh, there's actually some supplies missing from the thing. And it's like, oh, I don't... Oh, no, we don't have enough... Do we have enough water to reach? It's like, if we ration it, perhaps... And you see Sharon and him discussing. And... Ivan, you have lost 50 more gold. You didn't have this. Yeah, because he stole that gold. Oh, he stole that gold, yeah. Because yeah. so, like, they were looking for rich stuff. Thank, like, Rosal is thankful because he keeps his, he actually keeps it in a, like, special little pouch. Like, not, that's not actually on his person. So, man, you've just been getting fucked by your rolls, man. 
I don't, we were just surprised, just like, what the fuck? You please. were distracted by your sand blanket. <laughs> uh, please tell me. It's like, please tell me at least we have someone at the waist who's waiting with money. It's like, uh, we have to we have, And Shara goes and like takes a puff off her smoking device. Cause hookers aren't really that portable. It's like, I don't know, but the ball may be there. Uh, I hope so. It's like, anyways, we better get moving. We might have to up the pace. I don't know how fast we need to go, but we are currently out of most of our food supplies. Well, I suggest we start eating help. You will sustain us all. <laughs> did, what did you suggest? <laughs> but if worse comes to worse, we should eat Paladin and he will sustain us all. I kind of punch her on the shit. Let's, is... let's press off. Yes. This is not the Rodner party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's book it. Get, yep. So you guys all book it and I need you guys to roll royal con saves again. Okay. Alright. It's mine. Okay. Yep. Ah. Okay. How'd you do, uh, Fody? Ivan? Oh, you already made yours. Or was that from last day? 19. Okay. Okay, so you get there. Uh, just make sure I have this right. Just a bit, okay. So you guys eventually get there, but you it was a tiring process, and most of you are kind of tuckered out of it. Yeah. But you eventually get to this oasis area. It's, right. uh, Ooh. And Shara is here with you. And she says, oh, thank the gods. And you, uh, I'm, you're all really thirsty right now, so I would imagine you get water. Yep. yep. Yeah. Water, water. Although, I even make your perception check. I dunk Rush's head. <laughs> I hold the face as you can drink. Oh. Um, perception. Okay, you had. It's like this is sand. It's easy to see. You see this weird like spot of sand over around here, that's blacker than the rest of the sand. Oh. How tall is this rock here? That's about, I want to say, 10 to 15 feet high, depending where you are. Can I try to climb up the rock? Athletics check. To get a better look at the... Um, I'm the, imagining a burly dwarf the doing spot. the wild yeah. climb. You can do an athletics check. Everyone else is probably drinking because yeah. you're all tired. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where's... <laughs> okay, you managed to like just clamber up this really quick. So you get a good view. And there's just this like weird spot of black sand that doesn't look like it belongs anywhere. It doesn't look like it's natural. So it really is sticking out of the Yeah, it looks like someone area. poured stuff onto it. Other than that, it's a very simple oasis area that looks like it's a stopover with a natural well. There's some rocks around that make for good like camping. Like there's these big hills. Again, you're getting close to the Dauntless Peaks, so some of the actual like rock formation from under the earth is like popping out now. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll walk to the party, take a drink, and be like, uh, Do you guys see that over there? Or is it just the desert playing tricks on me again? Ruth looks over and... Roll a perception check normally, because you're exhausted. Yeah. Uh, would I know if... um? You can also see it. It's like... I've, I know what you're going to ask, but you can't tell what it is from this distance. Okay. Yeah. You can see it. There's right. this weird spot of black sand over here. Alright, we're just going to go over. Yep. Excuse me. Just you? Good. Get a better look at it. Just you? Yeah, just me. Okay. Uh, so I get it over there, and it's this weird black sand that smells strangely familiar. The only reason you've really recognized it is kind of because it smells oddly like Fody. I'm oh, sorry, like Ivan. <laughs> and then, sorry. 
And then you hear a voice that says, What are you doing there? And you turn to your left and you see this man come up with this like big red coat, bald head with scars all over it, carrying a small flail and like, bandaged arms. And it's like, Who are you? Not your business. I'm just looking around. I live here. It is my business. I live here. It's like, You live here. Right here, and she's like pointing. Rouge is pointing down where she's standing. It's like you live in this this spot right here. <laughs> this spot is yours. It's like yes, it is. <laughs> and is that spot over, like? And she points over at the the black sand. Like is that spot also yours? Yes, it is. Did somebody litter in your home? I did. <laughs> well, what is that gun? It's like. If you don't, it's like if you don't know, you never. If you if you don't know already, you never needed to know. It's like only, it's like only those chosen by Sabala will know. All right. Do I see it. this going on? You see this? Now? You see this weird man like just randomly? Okay. <laughs> like you see this guy just like talking to Rouge. Okay. I walk over. And you're pretty close to where that oh. sand is. You made the new friend, Rose. Friend is a loose term, but I have met somebody else. Who are you? I and you guys are I standing like right next to the black sand. And I mean, if you want to identify, you can roll an investigation check. Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, maybe this is too easy to roll, but you know what this because that's. I'm not even gonna make a roll for this because it's too obvious to you. I mean, even with advantage, you should know this is gunpowder. So it's just a patch of gunpowder in the ground there. Yeah, you see it, and it's like there's just randomly uh, this twenty foot patch of gunpowder just randomly here. Uh, uh Rouge, you don't have any fire on you, do you? Uh, let me see. I think I have a candle. Oh. Don't light it, please, because you're gonna yeah, blow a hole oil. big enough to put that boulder behind you. In the box. I can start a big fire. It's like, I got some please don't. floating arrow. It's like, <laughs> oh, what? It's like, this place is reserved. Hey, the weird, bald, scarred man says with the jacket. Bruce is uh, gonna look back over to Irving. Are you sure I don't, you don't want me to blow this place up? I'm just picturing... Very sure, because we're time. all gonna be blown to shit. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. There won't be anything of us left for them to fix, you know? Oh my. It's like... And at this point, Rosal is like, wondering what the hell's going on here. What is the... What in the Nine Hills is going on here? Um... This man says this patch of gunpowder over there is, uh, his... A gunpowder? What? And Rosal's like looking at the gun 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 gunpowder, and he's like, and he looks, and the guy in the with the weird like puts his hand on something behind his coat, with the wrong coat and long red beard. It's like, okay, sir, who are you? It's like I am Jeol. I live here. I am waiting. I'm waiting for somebody. Who's just gonna lean over to Rosal and be like, murder hobo? <laughs> Agreed. And, and uh, it's like, agreed, but I don't know if we should go about killing him. Yeah. So, uh, who may this friend of yours be? It's like, <laughs> my friend is my god, Sibala, and I am waiting for one of her chosen to come. Okay, well, may I know what you're gonna do with this, uh, black patch over here. I will test Sibala's chosen. Test? It's like... You're not gonna blow them up, are ya? Of course I am. Purification through fire! Because that's what all the gods want. Fuck. Ivan's like tilted his head a bit and he's like raised an eyebrow and he's like oh. trying to figure out if he believes him. <laughs> Rowan inside, Jack. Yeah. Uh, you, he looks like he's sounding very, very convinced, but you can't tell if he's joking or not. 
Like you get, like you're like this is a good actor. Either this is a good actor, or it's just weird. You don't know what to make of him. You know, I don't know if you're. I, I really don't know if you're being serious right now. What it's... kind of fucking test is that? It's you like... survive an explosion that size. Oh no, the explosion is only part of the test. It's like, and bro, oh, theory at this point. So, 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 what's the rest of the test? And you see, kind of this guy, Joel, Joel's eyes kind of widen and fill with a bit of awe. It's like, ah, oh, one touched by Sibala. It's like, and he like gives a reverent bow. And well, Rosal wants to be a king. It's still weird to have a random an individual do it. So he kind of raises an eyebrow. Mm-hmm. Are you used to this? No. It's like, it's, you wouldn't, and Joe goes, you wouldn't happen to be a Siri, would you? Is he asking me? He's asking, it's like, do you, like, do you know this? Sorry, do you know this? Do you know this man? Sorry. Joe's asking, do you know this, this Genasi? Yes, I do. It's like, then he's like, and I apologize for my, oh, goodness. None taken. <laughs> Does the gunpowder look like it's been placed there in the ground, or does it just look like it's part of the sand now? Roll an investigation check. Come on. <laughs> okay, oh it looks like you actually go there and you're looking at it, and it looks too perfect to be not intentional, but at the same time, the way it's mixed in a few layers down, you can only determine that magic caused this. Alright, so, um, this is a natural, so you're not digging it up. You probably put it there, so, what are you looking for, or what are you trying to wake up? I'm not waking up anything, I am simply waiting for, I'm simply waiting for one with the scimitar to come by. And what role does this have to do in it? It is part of the test. It's by fire. You're fucking crazy. I'm just gonna go back to the water. It's like... (laughs) Okay, so you go back to the water. It's like... And Osiri actually hears from the scimitar, and he, like, pulls out his scimitar, which... You never actually gave a close look for, but it takes this very like dark steel and gray scimitar, and has like these four little holes for like marbles to fit into. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. It's like this scimitar, and you see the guy in the red coat with the bandages eyes go like super wide, and he just falls to his feet and starts like bowing, like he falls to his knees completely, and starts like go in the sand. And says, "Here's come." It's like. Oh no, not another one. What, Russell? <laughs> it's like... Oh, this... Uh, never mind. Ah, uh, we may want to back away. Okay. Bruce starts backing up. Yep. Okay, you guys back up. Yep. It's like... I ap- it's like... And Geo apologizes. I apologize for my... My, uh over my zealous reverence. I need to... I just need to translate that. I am surprised that a cho- when chosen for Sibala's scimitar has come so soon. I've only been waiting here for four years. And that seems like a long time. And to call, at this point, Rouge has been gone for like a good half hour. Do you want to go figure out what's going on? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see what shenanigans she's gotten into. Where yeah. is my friend? Yes, where is my friend? Yeah. Okay, move your token up. Yep, I'm gonna go be with my friend. Okay. Okay. Then I apologize in advance I for. Up. I apologize in advance for putting you through this, but Sibala demands it. And you see him like just crack out this like red ink, like weird sand red and uh, orange flail that has like this weird thing at the end that looks like a ton of scorpion tails mashed together as the end of the flail. Mm-hmm. It's like 
It's like, come to me, t testing beasts. And you guys feel a tremor start to shake the uh, sand beneath you. You gotta get on the big rocks. Yeah. <laughs> they can't get you there. Yeah. Eh, it's like tremor, and suddenly you f hear this like rumbling, and you see this scaled like gold and dry head, almost brown, like pop out of the dirt with a long snake, and it, like snakes through the dunes, like wrapping around you guys. Oh, no. I want. I want. Uh, Razzle, uh, Calden, and Rouge to all make dexterity saving throws. Oh no. Alright. Here's Rouge's. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's mine. The second one. Okay. I'm back. Okay, well, so basically what's happening is they're all making dex saves. So you all uh, actually managed to, like, you all managed to, like, quickly nimbly dodge out of the way as you see this one strange snake-like head start emerging out of the sand and then you see another the black as, sand? As, yeah, around the black sand. Like, it's right in front of it. Like, the black sand's over here. You are actually far away. You roll a perception check if you want to see this yeah. happening. Okay. Yeah. And you see one head just start emerging and it just looks around you guys curiously and it yawns and it just stakes through, but then you see a second head emerge, and a Whoa. third, and suddenly you see this massive beast with five heads just emerge out from beneath the sands. Oh my. It's like, I would like everybody to roll their initiative. It's a puppy. <laughs> it is not. It's five, it's five good boys. <laughs> it's five good boys. I should say crap. Yep. Okay. Uh. That up. That up. That up. I can't use explosives. No explosives. No, no explosives. Yeah, I have no explosives. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That seems like Ruth, though, that she forget she's carrying like dynamite. Okay. Yeah. And then Shara <laughs> is also here. Okay. So, Argentum is too distracted by water. <laughs> it's like, oh, and God, yeah. And Artorius went to scout around for extra food, so neither of them are here right now. So, I'll just put them in the GM later. Okay. And with that, we are. Oh, wait. We need to sort this out. Descending. Rouge, you get to go first. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Did mine not come up? Oh, no. Yo, here's there, it's 18. Bruce just has a better dex. <laughs> mm -hmm. Unless you got a feat, I don't know. Nah, I don't. And I always forget how to do the arrow thing. See, like, feet wise. <laughs> uh, it should say, like, 3120 for range. Gotcha. If it's a short bow, that should be the range. I, yeah, I know, but I'm just seeing how far apart I am from the beast. Oh, that, uh, it's I believe the... it's 60-20, the range, yeah. on the short. It's, you're 15 okay. feet away. Okay. Or 10 feet, yeah, 15 feet. Alright, then I'm just gonna use... my short bow. And shoot one of its heads. At least aim two. Okay. You miss completely, it just snakes through both the heads. Alright. Yep. Did I have... Oh, I forgot to type in. I gotta forget to give Razzle's token. <laughs> be in your two. Okay, it's descending order. Okay, so Rouge, do you want to do anything else? You still have a bonus action. Ah. Uh, hmm. She's gonna move a, just like a little bit closer. <laughs> Okay, she's moving a bit closer to it. Yep. Uh, Ivan, you're up. Hmm. You saw this massive beast just come right out of the sand. Yeah. Where the fuck did that come from? You're seeing this shit. It's a. Uh, Argentum, like. Next to me? As, right. Oh, is Indy still on the map? No, Sarah is. It's like, yeah, indeed, I see that shit next to you, and I do not like. I do not like this shit next to you. 
Let's go figure out what's going on. Let's. Okay. Hmm. And Cheryl just like uh... takes out like her little sh like hand crossbow. But if you got any fire, there's a shitload of gunpowder over there. Just blow that thing to hell. Hmm. Ah, I do not have any, but I will try. Okay, so right, is that uh, you using your turn to talk? No, I'm probably gonna move closer because I don't think I'm in range to actually fire. Oh, I am. Yeah, you it's got 120 feet. Yeah, but you're disadvantage at that point, right? Or do you have to take a sharpshooter? Um, yeah, I think that's the maximum range. Yes, yeah, so you have disadvantage on this. Well, I'm 45 feet away from oh, yeah. the center of it, so just where is it? Mm. Come on, roll twenty. I am staring at a white page right now. You really need to get better what internet, dude. I think it's just roll 20 being a bitch right now. Okay, first one misses, second one hits. So you get, like, you for miss with Goldfeather just misses, but then Dreadhand, you manage to, like, pop into one of its heads. And that's going to be nine. Okay, so it goes down a bit. You just see one of its heads get actively angrier. And then... Roz is there, so it's Roz's turn, and he is just gonna keep a safe distance. And you see him just take out his sword, uh, the scimitar, and swing it around twice, and that should be more to hit. Yeah, and he is just going to do ooh quick. I shouldn't be plus five. He's just gonna do two quick Eldritch blasts at it by like swinging his sword around, just like putting it off the end of the sword. So that hits. And the second one also hits. And just these two waves of force head towards the the, dra the Hydra. And that is 8 force, 5 plus 7 force. Uh, 63 minus K. That's 12. There's 8. Minus 12. Okay, so that took it down a pretty significant chunk. I am. Um, yep. That, that is a good chunk. Yeah. And then JL goes, it's like, I apologize. I apologize, the ball is chosen, but I cannot make it easy on you. And he is going to cast Healing Word on the Drydra. Okay. And then Shira gets in here, but she's not close enough to do anything, so she spends her turn running up, going, What in the shit is this? Okay. And then Calden, you're up. Okay. I am going to. I'm going to use Moonbeam. Okay. That's a con save, I believe. Okay, higher level cast. What is there? Sa there's a save for Moonbeam, isn't there? Uh, let me check. Whoa. Uh, strength. Okay, what does it do? If it fails. Uh, it just it if it fails, it takes full damage. If it does it, it takes half damage. I don't think that passes, so it took full damage. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Okay, so that took a significant amount of damage, and it's annoyed. You actually managed to like start burning off some of its, uh, like burn off its head. One of its heads started getting like lower, but it's not oh, very God. angry at you, and it, it has. One of <laughs> it's like, no, like the head is still there. It's just very weak looking. So it's going to go to you, and since the hydrate has five heads, so it gets an attack for each one. 
Yep. So it is just going to try to bite you five times. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Uh, that's a lot of damage. That's about 45 damage. Yeah. That's 44 damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah! Okay. I'm squishing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm a lizard on chalada. <laughs> yeah, like it's just biting you. Like you block one, but it's just chomp, chomp, chomp. You almost get like dragged up. Like you're almost like puppet, puppeted by five hydra heads. Okay. But and this thing just gets angrier and angrier. Rouge, you're back up. All right. Which one is like the really burnt up head? Uh, the one on the far right. Okay, it's the closest one to me. Yeah. All right. Rouge is gonna run up to it and stab it with blood dagger. Okay. Boop. I haven't seen your attack come through yet. That you made it. You miss it completely, almost. Like you just like try to stab it, but you end up like falling over the head. Gotcha. Yeah. Ivan, you're up. <laughs> Definitely can't make it there. Can I see the patch of black sand from here? Mm. Uh, you can. It's behind the Hydra and Shara and everybody, so you'd have disadvantage if you tried to hit it. Because it's just a really hard to hit it through all these people, and the dust being knocked mm. up by the Drydra, it's really hard not to see it. Mm. <sighs> Alright. Gonna spend three grip points. One on a, a dead eye, so I have advantage on the shot. And two on violent shot. Okay. So I will deal an extra two d8 damage on this next attack. And you're aiming for the black sand, or are you aiming for the dry? No, aiming for the hydra. Gotcha. The dry dry. Yeah. You miss. Advantage the twenty. Oh, advantage. Okay, so eight piercing, an extra two d8. Yeah, I'll just roll that manually. Yeah. Okay. Minus. 18. Cool. Okay. So you managed to blow shot. off one of its heads. Just like completely goes nope. down. That misses though. Like Dread uh. Hand just fires wide. And at this point, Roswell's like realizing, like going, what the hell? And like looks at this guy over here. It's like, what are you doing? It's like testing you. And. <laughs> He's actually going to go over here, and he is just going to go and make an attack with his scimitar at Joel. Okay, and then as a bonus action, he's going to try again. And both the time, it just kind of bounces off. Joel just kind of like goes with his arm and just blocks both of Rosal's scimitar strikes. Wait, Rosal just hit the. He's over here. The random dude. He's over here with the random dude. Yeah. Okay. I am not your t I am not your test subject. That is, and he points over to the Hydra. You're the one healing it. <laughs> and indeed, and let's see. Jill is then going to. Uh, it's going to. That's like. But I wonder if it's going to be easier if someone else there, if someone over there, is hardened. So he's going to actually run over, take an attack opportunity from Rosal again. That time he hits. So, Jail, you just see like as this guy runs up to the Hydra, like Rosal just takes his scimitar, kind of dances around with it, and just takes this big slice out of the back. So, 90, minus 17. Okay, so yeah, it takes a big slice out of the back. <coughs> And he is actually going to cast. He's going to take his take his like little symbol, which is very weird looking. And he's going to cast. He's going to point at you, Rouge. 
No. And he's going to cast Immolation. Oh my. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Jesus, okay. And he's staying concentrated at that. Uh, wait, it's right. Wait, you, um, gotta, let me describe this. Make a deck save first. Okay. Okay. Yep, he fails. Hey. That's it. So, sorry, that's sorry, that's right. You, no, you pass. Okay, I'm like, wait. How high does it Jeez. Okay. Let me just see, because this only defends you against AoE damage. Evasion only defends you against AoE, so you take half of that. So take 16 damage. Oh, wow. And... Uh, oh, and you're not and you're not continuously on fire, because you've passed. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta eat my bread. Yeah. Yeah, get this bread. Okay. And he looks kind of aggravated, because you just kind of, like, managed to tuck, duck, and roll. And Shira's over here, and she's just going to try and help you guys stay alive. So she is going to just start using her... She's going to, like, use her little hookah, and you see her, like, just start speaking rapidly. And the hookah, like, makes these weird images. And you see, like, this weird story, like, this, like, story kind of play out. So... She tells this weird tale. And you guys get all get 3d8 temporary hit points. So roll 3d8 and put that in temporary hit points. Okay. Yeah. It, okay. That's not healing, that's temporary hit points. Just so you remember that, Joe. Okay. That's 18 for me, roll for you. So you, okay. you, like, when you get hit, those get reduced first. Okay. Okay. Now, Calden, you're up again. Okay. I am going to... I'm going to take a step back. And I'm going to use uh, 15 points of my healing touch. Lay first, hands. first of all, you get an attack of opportunity because you moved out of its strain. So it only gets... I get an attack of... No, it gets one. Okay. So, nine more damage. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to use... Okay. And I'm going to stop there. Okay. Did, did you help? I'm going to heal yourself a bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, on the top of the dragon's turn, you see the head that was kind of bubbling and cut off, like, start reforming. Oh, my. And you see two smaller heads start sprouting out ra rapidly. So it regains 19 hit points and now has six heads. Ah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Rouge is. Uh, gonna... It's still its turn. Yes, yeah, so it's turn. Yeah. And since Colin just moved out and it doesn't feel like going around, it's going to the last thing to try to stab it. So it's going to make five attacks on you, Rouge. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Actually, six attacks. It has six heads now. Well, it not just be five because that one just four. What? Shouldn't be just five because that, like, while it's happening, that one is forming. No, no, no. It forms instantly. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. So there's six attacks. Remember to ignore the plus six one because that's for if it critted. Oh, okay. So yeah. just add the seven from that if it hit. Five. I'd like to remind you, you can reduce one of these in half. Oh, okay. Because yeah. of uncanny dodge. Yes. So I'll do that for the thirteen one. Well, the thirteen one. That'll bring so. it down to a seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, not, fuck. I do math again. Okay. 
Get out of calculator. So 42 minus 18. Twenty-four. Okay. Use me with Fine. Okay. Alright, I took my damage. Yep. And, and it's okay. your turn. Yes. All right, Rouge is going to try to jump up on one of its heads and kind of like ride down its neck to its main body, so to be on top of it. Acrobatics check? Yep. At disadvantage because you're exhausted. Yes. Can I also use that as like a blade skate attack? No, your blade skates are not working well because you're in the desert, so they don't really have anything to skate on. Oh, gotcha. Well, I figure since it'd be like on the beast, but. Um, do you think you have time to put them on while you're flipping? No. She's that good. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, acrobatics. Oh, fuck. Disadvantage, because you're exhausted. Yep. So, I guess we're just... Yeah. She tries to jump up and just like... Okay, uh. like, you got... Like, you try to jump up, and then one of the heads just kind of slams you back. Mm -hmm. And you skid away the, over this way into the sand, and York is now prone. Gotcha. And also... Take two damage from being knocked in the sand. Uh, okay. It's a very sharp sand. <laughs> Did you remember oh, about your you remember about your temporary temporary hit points, right? Yes, okay. I already burned through those. Gotcha. Okay. That that six attack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Well, you didn't cauterize it. You had a whole round do. <sighs> okay, and now it's Ivan's turn. Let's rush at a bonus action. <sighs> no, we would not have a bonus action. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna shoot it. There's not much. Get up on the Hydra's back. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, the second one does hit. So it's nine damage. Wow, jump out it. Okay. Uh, and you look, and Osiris like, all right, I've had enough of this. And you see him take uh, the scimitar and kind of just like flip it around until it has this like weird black glowing edge. And you see like this tether between him and the Hydra. So he's going to run up to the back, and he is going to attack it with the Cursed Blade. Since he just used Hexblade's Curse on the Hydra, so that misses. That also misses. Well, fuck. Yeah. Well, fuck no. Yep, and that was both his... Oh wait, no, he gets a third attack, because he gets a bonus action attack, that's right. That one also misses! So you see, like he's just like trying to dance, and he just keeps missing all of the all of the Hydra. Wow, you guys, you guys are rolling shit. I'm ah. all right. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe's like, you may need to do better than that. It's like er, er to see Bala. It's like, and Bras was shut up. So, Jeol is actually gonna go over here, and. He is going to ready his flail. And then cast Cure Wounds on Rouge. Oh, okay. Cool. It's, it's like... That's always nice. Yeah. I, Rouge is confused. Yep. So seven. Yeah, this so, guy is weird. He's like yeah, the yes. judge of this fight. <laughs> yes. It's like He's a weird ref. I don't understand. <laughs> it's like it's like the it's like Sibala's air needs support. Do our good support. It's like and then he goes back over here. Thanks. It's like 
And you see Shira, <laughs> it's like after that, he has his turn. And Shira, like, is still blowing her hookah, and she's, like, making a much bigger illusion this time. Okay. And... She is go... And she, like, takes... Uh, okay, this, so this is supposed to be a spell, but I couldn't figure out how to make it work right, so this is just a DC thing. Uh, okay, so she is going to uh, start, like, speaking this big tale, what? and... The Hydra's gonna make have to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. It fails. It's not a very wise Hydra. So it takes 25 poison damage. You see, and you see the head that kind of just got reformed, just kind of like start pussing and dying and like oozing out poison. And it's like, and the thing is, the head stays on this time because it didn't get chopped off. So it's still there, it's just not active. Hmm. And the thing's looking like it actually got hit for once. Which is nice. Colin, you're up. Okay. God. Hey. That's... I'm going to use Cure Wounds on Rich. Uh, you need to walk up to her first. It's a touch thing. Okay. You need to, like, walk to her. Okay, so, Bruce, you've just healed a lot of hit points. Yay! There you go. Yeah. And... Now the Drydra you do 19. is going to turn this way because it's annoyed by these two twins. Well, not twins, but friends. And it is going to use its sand breath. And it misses both of them. They even just nimbly dodge out of the way. Stab it in the back. Stab it in the back. <laughs> yeah. So, like, they go over here and over here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying because of. <laughs> yeah. Obvious. And uh, that's all it could do because it used all of its heads to like spew out this massive sand gusher towards Shara and Osiri, and they just like both dick out of the way as quick as they can. Although Shara gets pushed back a bit. Rouge, you're healthier. Yes. Supposedly. Yes. Ready to. Just, do just not looking too bad now. Yeah. Alright, Rouge is gonna go up to the Hydra and she is going to stab it in the back with her blood dagger. Okay. You miss. I definitely missed. <laughs> this is like really sad actually. I know. I used all my good rolls too early. Yep. Okay. Uh, do you want to do anything with your do you want to do anything with your bonus action? Uh. You can stab again with a light weapon. Yeah, she's gonna go ahead actually... But you can't, uh, like, but you can't, like, move out of the space without triggering an opportunity attack. Yeah, she's gonna um, try to jump onto the Hydra. So another action. You can't do that as a bonus action. You already used your oh. action to attack. Gotcha. That's a main action thing. Mm -hmm. She's gonna just stand there for now. Okay. Okay, Ivan. Ah, uh, well, that black sand is still there, and with all the rusting around, it has moved, so it's like right about here. Yeah, that is uh, nice, but I have to take my turn to reload. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, you take your turn to reload? Are you going to action surge or anything? Nah. Okay. And at this point, eventually, Argentum just came out of the pool. Like, something happening? A <laughs> uh, big fuck off thing. It's got six heads now. Yeah. Fucking kill it. Okay. Then Rosal's gonna go again. And he's got this thing cursed, so he is going to try to attack it again. He hits this time. He misses the second time. He misses the third time, but he hit once. Uh, okay. Okay, so he is... he. So he, like, manages to just chop off another head. 
but since he deals necrotic damage, and necrotic, you're semi-familiar with Rouge, it's this like dark damage that Jerry can do with necromancy. Gotcha. So he chopped off one, another one of its heads, because that was 17 damage, so... Uh, no, not, not much. Okay, so, and you see this head, like, as soon as it gets chopped off all the way, it starts rotting away. Like, it's just, like, so rotted that it couldn't even support another head. Like, it looks like as he does it, time just starts wearing on it. And it starts, like, and you almost see a bone structure come out of the, the damage from Rosal Scimitar. Mm. It's like, and it's lost one of its heads. Yeah. And JL is just going to, like, clap. And you hear, like, a ting, ting, ting sound as he's clapping. And he's like, very good show. But then you see him, like, take his arm and his right hand, and he, like, pops his hand off. And under the bandages, and he points this, like, hole in his arm at the black sand. Oh, gosh. Yep. So he is just going to try to aim at the black sand, and since it's a massive target, it's not that hard to hit. It's like just this unmoving black sand target. And he hits it, but the main problem is... He fires his cannonball... And the sparks ignite, so I want you guys to all make a dexterity saving throw. Oh. Alright. Rouge is. Rouge died. Oh, that's not good for Rouge. Okay, let's see if Osiri makes one. <laughs> I'm further away, though. Okay, no. You, yeah, you, you're you not affected, Calden. Okay. Okay, so let me see how much damage that is. And I pull Rouge out. Oh, all. Okay, <laughs> so that takes. Let's see. So that'll be 76 plus 10. So you take that much damage. And so does Ose so does Rosal. Ooh, dang, that's a lot of damage to him. How yeah, much damage to Rouge? 37, you failed the deck. Well, actually, wait, what's his deck save? Let me just figure out what Jail's deck save is. <laughs> yeah, you would have, uh. Yeah, you would have fa failed. But you take half damage, anyways, because of evasion. Okay. Yeah. Double yeah. Okay. Okay. Two. Two, minus. <laughs> Okay, 37. And Rosal looks like he's just like, he went from full to ow in a matter of seconds. Mm -hmm. mm. And Shira's here, and she's seeing everyone looking kind of rough. So she is going to weave another story. And you see her, like, get a smoke out. And this is an interesting one, because you guys can all hear it. So you know how you can use your hit die during a short rest? Mm -hmm. You can do that right now. Like, use as many as you want. Okay. And you can heal that much right this second. Gotcha. <sighs> okay. Uh, gets <laughs> you know, yeah. get some back, too. And... Calden, you're back up. Okay. Yep. The thing's not dead, huh? No, it's still very much alive. It's looking rougher, but it's still pretty alive. It's still pretty lively. Okay. It's only got five active heads, though, now. Okay. Like, yeah. one is sick. One of the six heads is sickly. Uh. I'm going to run up to here. Okay. I'm going to attack with my longsword. And you smite. That hits? That also hits. Okay. So, I'm going to attack one more time. I'm not going to smite. But you can choose to smite after you hit. You don't have to like declare before with smite. Okay. I'm going to attack again then. You can smite your crit. You can crit smite now. I will smite. Okay. So actually roll smite damage again because you critted. Oh, fuck yes. Yeah. So you get extra smite damage. Okay. Holy shit. 
Yes! Let's see how this works. Okay, so the first one hit, 10, 17. Okay, so... Get away from my friend! Yeah, Paladins hit freaking hard. Okay, so... That's one down. Let's see, the second one is... Okay. I don't know where this 1 plus 2 thing came from. Oh, it's the second roll, I guess. Or... Where's this 1d10 coming from? That shouldn't be happening. Okay, so that's a 19 plus a... Wait. Okay, that's... Then, need to... 59 minus... 18 plus another 20... Jeesh! Okay, so Calden just, like, cleaved through three of the heads. Yes! <laughs> Holy shit. And this thing is, like, looking super rough. And since it's radiant damage, almost all of those are, like... The radiant damage burns it, so all the heads are cauterized. So they can't grow back. Now, the Dryadra is here. One more time. And it's very bad because it only has two heads left. So it's just going to lash out at you in a panic, Calden. Okay. Uh, so. That hits. Okay. That also probably hits. Yeah. Okay. But that's all it can really do because it can't burrow or anything right now. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Critting smites. Then do you, and then yeah. it can't even heal because its heads can't regenerate. Yes. So it's just like flailing around, like <laughs> just going randomly, like pan pouting and panicking, just shaking the desert and like put, like bumping up dust storms. Rouge. All right. Okay. 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 Rouge it's is gonna try to jump on top of it again. Acrobatics at disadvantage. Woo. You fail again. Alright. Well, she's at least gonna hit it with a dagger then. You can't. You got knocked around again. You're back on the ground prone. You need to use your movement to stand up. Alright. And that you don't have any movement left because you got knocked around. Yep. Okay. Like, you tried to free up and the tail just goes, denied. Gotcha. Yeah. That's why it's bad to fight while exhausted, kids. Yep, that it is. And Ivan, the only person who's not exhausted. Is that because I saved on the con? Yep, yep. Damn. Well, she. Okay, so gold feather hits. The other one not go through. Oh, oh wait, shit. wait. Ha okay, which ones are you hitting with? Because you've hit. I'm gonna assume. Dread yeah, no. It one, one and one. The other one, I clicked twice. Okay. So okay. So this thing is down on its like last leg. Like I haven't just like put a giant like new more bullets through its head. It's like it looks like it's almost dead. Ivan, are you done with your turn? Uh, you know what? I'll action surge and fire one more time. Yep. Okay. For good measure. Uh, did you fire yet or no? You already fired the three. I clicked it. Uh, I'm waiting for it to come through then. And that hits. And oh, almost. You feel like you just got jipped out of a kill. <laughs> it's because it looks so. What you're saying is I got jipped out of a grip point. <laughs> Well, I'm saying, like, it had 9 HP left, and you rolled an 8. Wait, hang on. Would... You already did it, dude. Would the action surge proc the... The, um... The, uh... What's it called? The extra attack? It would, but you don't have the ammo right now, do you? I do, because I reloaded. Oh, that's right. That was last turn, yeah. Yeah, because you get 6 shots. Okay, you can try to fire! Alright, right. Yeah, how broken archery fighting style is. And gold feather. It's like, do you want to? Do you uh, have any way you want to kill this thing? 
Um. Not, not really. Just shoot okay. it in the head. So you manage. You just shoot. Like you just shoot through this thing. Like you shoot from the side of the head, and you manage to get it so like it lines up, so that you perfectly go right through one eye, and it goes out the other eye, and into the next head's eye, and out the other eye. So it just lands right next to Roz, which is kind of blowing his over his shoulder. The bullet just like lands and like strikes of dust behind him, as the thing finally collapses and just falls to the ground, lifeless and motionless in the sands. This massive beast creature beast like beast there's like of the sands just dead completely dead and you guys are all exhausted just <sighs> like everyone's just tired mm -hmm. uh. you guys see Ivan in the background just jump and click his heels in the air <laughs> again you're 70 Sam yeah I was about, I was about to yeah. say you're 70 Sam yeah <laughs> Your uh, 70 Sam looks like he has some dwarf ancestry. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> and again, you hear a metallic clapping from behind you, Rouge. Good. Very good. Rouge is just giving him the dirtiest of looks. <laughs> it's like, it's really hard to tell if you're giving him a dirty look considering you're like covered in sand. Like, <laughs> the eyes <laughs> pierce to the soul. <laughs> yeah, like. He's completely covered in sand except her eyes, which stand out. Yeah. He doesn't actually take much attention. He, like, just tries to walk over right to Razzle. It's like, good job, good job, and Razzle just decks him. Just straight up punches him with his, like, left hand. It's like, so he gets backed up. It's like, what the hell was that about? It's like, and he called, like, he motions you to come over here. Like, you, Ivan, you called in. Okay. okay, so you guys, go, I'll just get this thing off the map. <sighs> Galden, you can do what you want with him. Yep. It's a good sleep. Hey, uh, you guys doing something? Uh... What was that? Are you talking yeah. to the, are you the bald guy? Yes. That was a test. Of the what? It's like he points to Rosal or Osiri, depending on which name you want to use. It's like, of his potential. You, you know, I, I turned to her, our teacher, you know, tested us in ways. She didn't throw a hydra at us. No, should we stab this guy? Do you want to? I want to stab this guy. Rosal detonate a fucking bomb <laughs> to test us. It's like, a bomb? I just... I got that powder from Dazu. It doesn't matter who you got it from. That was a fucking bomb you had in the ground there that you set off. I... yes! It's like... It's like... Sibala allows me many great gifts along... It's Look like, at the hole of that thing. I could fit six of you in there. <laughs> exactly. I don't... It's like... Oh, but please, let, let me help you. And he is going to start casting Prayer of Healing. Uh, if I can find it. So, let's see. Just still staring very intensely. Mm -hmm. yep. like he's just healing everybody within 30 feet of him. Like, just holding this little symbol. For 18 points. Yep, everyone gets gained 18 hit points. <sighs> And you see Raz like and Cher are just off like arguing and Raz like starting to like be on fire at points, literally. <laughs> <sighs> ah, so are you th are you three his chosen companions? Companions, yes. I don't know if we qualify as chosen in the way you're talking. We're the ones he picked. We have mutual interests. Oh what interests? Well, tell me, tell me. I'm interested. I'm interested in your interests. And this looks very excitable. And you remember, this guy has like a really messed up scarred face. Like there's chops down it. Like half, like there's a scar that's running past the edge of his lip. So like m more of his teeth are exposed than normal. Yeah. And he's like very explicitly bald. Well, I don't know about these two, but I really fucking hate wanting. Ah, this, 
the snake bastards, yes. Indeed. If I had it my way, which looks like I will soon enough, I'd turn each and every last one of them into a fancy wallet and then shit on it. It's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of work. <laughs> Do you two have the same sentiment? No, <coughs> not to the same degree. We, we got a whole kingdom of people to take care of. Yeah, we have. <laughs> well, I am sure like, I am so, sure a ruler could help you take care of them. Well, he's planning on it. That was our deal. Oh, so you're those kind of friends. And he like has like a little judgmental stare at you guys. <laughs> Rudy's gonna judgmental stare back. <laughs> <laughs> but I, didn't even I expected that, that to happen. happen. Like, uh, uh, I can't. I can't choose. I can't choose what the Raz, uh, who the Raz keeps by his side. But I did am, she do her intimidation check? Oh, oh. Scared this guy. oh, did she do it? Okay. How are you no. trying? Like, how are you trying to scare him? Just like stare him down. <laughs> well, I failed anyway. Okay. You like look at him. And then you get like, as soon as you're staring down, you try to like get your hair, like, you try to like blow your eyes. So hair falls right out of your face, like right onto your nose and tongue. So you start choking on air and like a. Choking on my nice pink hair. Yep. Yes. Her hair was pink at this point. She has not changed it back. She got like, she liked it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And okay. he's like, are oh, you alright, little one? <laughs> Never better. <laughs> Okay, it's like he just shrugs. But no, I. It's like my God gave me a sign to wait here, wait here for a Janasi. Ugh, God. <laughs> well, this God's nicer than most. Well, uh, at least doesn't uh, at least doesn't pretend to be you know all high and mighty. And also bring her downfall. Your God sounds broken. Take it to the store for a new one. She, it's like, that is in fact what she is. She is broken into four pieces. Fair enough. Well, I'm not going on your quest and Rouge is just walking away. <laughs> well, fuck this shit out of While we're here, friend. Water. Yeah, go get water. <laughs> That's like, and you see our gentum over there, just like, he's still sipping it. Like, it looks like he's just enjoying the feeling of water. He's so curious that he's been, like, under the water exploring and to keep. Every time he pops up, he has his ears have been too full to hear anything. Been Spyro swimming. <laughs> yeah. Rouge is going to join him. <laughs> we. <laughs> like just getting all the sand off you. It's like. Yes. And at this point, uh, Arthur, oh yes, like Quincy walks in. It's like hello, it's like, hello, and like looks at you, giving a desk there. It's like, all right, all right, what shit went down? We got attacked Bye. by that bald dumb shit over there. Set a hydra on us as a test for Razzle because of God. God. Seems legit. <laughs> it's like it's like, but then he turns back to you. It's like, and it directs to you. It called and it's like, oh, I can tell you're a man of faith. I didn't. Uh, I am. You understand the calling of gods. I do, but my God, she doesn't set hydras on me. It's like, I was not told to set the Hydra on him. That was a happy accident. <laughs> Colin, Colin thinks about just punching him, but does not. Hey, do you want to roll an inside deck to see if he's telling the truth? Yeah. This guy's not lying. That, is just ha that was just bad luck on your part. It's like, I only meant, like, I only meant to, exp I only meant to have him survive one of the, the explosion. It's like, if he could do that, he would pass the test. I see. Ugh. Well, I think he went a bit beyond the just the explosion, yeah. don't you? Think? I know, yeah, I wasn't it glorious? I even tried to heal the Hydra at one point, and he still managed to, and he still managed to bring it down. And he, yeah, you, yeah. and he was the point <laughs> you called. You you made me question whether that head of yours should be on your shoulder. It's like it it is perfectly fine on my shoulders. Where else would it be? In my chest? No, it'd just be a hole. It's like, are you threatening him? No, I'm not threatening him. I'm just telling him that 
he th he treaded a very thin line. <laughs> and Ivan wasn't sure whether he was on our side or the Hydra. It's, it's, like, like, it's like, I am on the side of Sibala's children. That is all. Yes. Fair enough. Well, and you carry let's talk you... something that does make sense. Show me that toy under your sleeve you got there. Oh! This? And you like, and like, you see like these bandage wraps all around. It's like very well made, not like designed well, but more for function than anything. Crudely made cannon like forearm that it seems like go into this metal hand thing. And he like, he like just hands it to you. He like just pops it off his arm and just hands it to you. Uh, thank you. It's like. You are a, a lot more forthcoming than are most people with these things. You have passed the tests. You are friends of Shibala's children. You are a friend of mine. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Ah, so you see Rosal like back. He's still slightly steaming, but he's calmed down significantly. It's all right, all right, all right, all right. Did I miss anything important? Ah. Uh, he had the toy, that's quite interesting. Take a look. As he looks at the cannon, it's like... Hmm. Neat. Calden, did he say anything of interest to you? Uh, he talked to me about faith. Oh, is, is he a proselytizer? Uh, not, not too much, no. It's like... Turns out the trial he had set for you was the explosion, the hydra was just bad luck. He gives you like a look like, what? No fucking yeah, way. Yeah, he told me the same thing. He, he, yeah, that's, that's what I he don't told think us. He was lying. Huh. It's like, it's like, I think it was rather fortunate. Your test was even more, it's like, it was even more, it's like, it was even more uh, challenging than I anticipated. It's like, you keep saying this word test. Why are you testing me? Because you carry that sword. Uh. So what are you doing here? It's like, and like you see Rosalie like start talking to his sword. It's like, do you know this guy, Dad? It's like, all right, all right, okay. Galden? Ivan? Mm -hmm. Yes. Dad, Dad's vouching for him. I'm not sure how much that's worth, but he is vouching. Okay. It's, In what way? Uh, well, basically, we came here to find, like, like, we came out in the sands to find the Ash Ruler to see if we could recruit someone different. It's like, but we can't find the dragon, and he says this man will be in a father for now. And he says, if we follow his advice, we won't need a dragon to help us. Okay. I'm not... Do you trust this information? Oh, hell no. That's why I'm asking you. Uh... So you don't trust your own dad? He's a freaking authority. Yes. He's just... just a fucking sword right now, so we're trusting a sword. It's like, you trust the guns? My guns don't fucking speak to me. <laughs> they don't have potty mouth. Me? Eh. Maybe we should ask Rouge. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ask Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> she is currently at the bottom of the oasis. <clears throat> Just like <laughs> angry, bu underwater. like angry bubbles. Yeah. Like she can breathe underwater, so she's staying down there for a long time. Calden, you have to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you get a? Did you get an adaptation pendant? I forget. What? Did you get an adaptation pendant? Yeah. Okay, I forgot about that. Yeah, I got one of those. Yeah. Okay. What do you want? Does she even have a shirt on at this point? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, she's somewhat covered. Okay. Uh, so Razzle's dad apparently vouched for this guy. Razzle doesn't know what what to make of that. He's asking me and Ivan what we should do. But what are our options? Here, come with, c come with me. Uh, I, I carry her back. Yep. Yeah, she's not, <laughs> she's not walking. 
you kind of like carry me by the scruff. Yep. I, so I... tell me, Fred, as you guys are walking over, what exactly do you do that a dragon can't do? Oh, because from what I'm seeing is that we will just take you instead of the dragon. That's what the sword's saying, right? Well, no, no. It's like, but relatively speaking, it's much easier. It would be much easier to for me to guide you to the other genies than to you to take on a dragon. Good point. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, you have the feeling that he's not lying. Yes. It's like I simply live to yeah. I simply live to serve Sibala. So, it's she th- or just throws her arms up in the air. I'm like, I guess we'll go along with it. It's like, ah, thank you, thank you, small one. You are mo- most, I am most grateful. <laughs> 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 My God, <laughs> Rouge just constantly pissed off of this campaign. Yes. <laughs> She's got a lot to be pissed off about. <laughs> I mean, literally, like every one of the emotions you have are pissed off, distraught over romance and horny. Exactly. Yes. Uh, it's like okay. So Rosal. Oh, yeah. So Rosal takes his sword. It's like fine, fine. He plunges it like right to the sand in front of him. Tell me what we must do with this. It's like, it's like, let me weave you a tail. It's like, and Cheryl's like, <laughs> like, oh, if he can do that better than me, I'll laugh. Kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, so where are you? Okay, so eventually, uh, so he starts like bringing up this thing, and he like takes he goes into his coat and he takes out this like little like stack of papers, and it's more like a book kind of, and it's like really old looking, and he like, goes through it, and you see like these pictures inside of a different kind of. Genies, you see like the fire Efriti, you see the water version Merids, which are like big fish people. You see the air ones who look kind of like traditional genies with like you know blue skin, air, the jinn, and you see Dao, who are these big, tough looking earth genies with the big hammers in the book. Mm-hmm. But like you get something through the book, and you eventually find this p- image, this really faded image that looks very much like Rosal's sword. So Did that come up? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ugh. So he starts explaining about how Sibala was like the original genie before they all got split into different elements. Mm-hmm. And you can find shards of them everywhere and her scimitar can has a different power associated with each shard or marble, elemental marble. It's so he and he's talking about how he knows where one is right now and hoping he can tell us where the rest are. It's like I believe for I believe if we go to a realm we can find the first of these uh elemental shards and help empower a, a series blade. And why would you want to why would you want to empower my brother's blade? So he can rule. And you see, like, Roz looking down, considering all this information laid out about the first genie and various different jinn and Dao and, like, all these different elemental beings. And he, like, gets, gets a long look at his sword. And at this point, uh, you see, like, you see, like, in the distance, there was, like, Artorias watching, and he's kind of just, like, listening in. Now let's talk about magic swords making him look at Songbreaker. Right. Yeah. So many magic swords. Yeah. <sighs> so, do, it's like I ask you, do you, will you allow me to guide you and help empower that blade? I cannot help you take the gems, I can just guide you to where they are. So, getting the, oh. the, the shards you said? Uh, yes. Things... Yes. Will they help you get the trust of the Genasi? Is this is this why we need them? 
I seek no such purpose. I only seek to serve Sibala's higher purpose. I don't need. It's like I we, hope you may trust me. It's like young, young Genasi's Genasi, but I understand. I understand tests like this can be less than friend-inducing. Well, it looks like a good deal. What do you think, Razzle? Mm. I don't like making deals with vague terms, but... It's either that, this or face a fucking dragon. And frankly, we've seen what a dragon can do before. Yes. Yeah. Let's avoid that. Yeah. This sounds like the safer alternative, even if it takes a bit longer. It's like... So who... So who contained... So... Tell me, what is your name again? I never caught it. Oh, my name is Jael Kreth. It's like, I am a priest of Sibala. It's like, alright, I am Osiri Zade. And this is my sister, Shara Zade. I'm surprised none of you got that joke. It's like, and as soon as he like mentions the last names, you see Jael like, kind of like, go, oh, oh, oh. And every, I'm guessing everyone would look at him with... Am I still talking, right? Yeah, you're still talking. Okay, it's, it gets weird when I don't hear, like, random bits of chatter. Like, sometimes I'm worried people, like, dropped out by accident. Yeah, we're listening. I know, but it's it's weird to hear you guys actually pay attention. <laughs> sorry. You're fine. I'm sorry, I can't constantly make dick jokes. <laughs> but not, not, not the dick jokes, but usually I hear, like, like did you find the thing? or Yeah, yeah, back in the down, yeah. Okay, so it's like, well... This makes things either easier or much harder. It's like, uh, and like, Chera and Osiri both raise their eyebrows. It's like, the elemental gems are from, are being held by your parents. Uh. And that's what? where we're going to end the session. Drama. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a cool fight. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my throat. I need to I'm like in the desert setting, Chris. Yeah, I need to get a big. I need to get a lozenge. I need to get like remember to get a drink when I'm doing this much description and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, so, but yeah, I got enough content for at least three, four more weeks. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.